Last week, President Barack Obama held a seven-hour bipartisan summit on health care reform. On Wednesday, we'll hear from the president as he lays out a new plan forward on health care reform legislation. We're starting to learn some of the first details about what will be included in that plan. Today, the president sent a letter to congressional leaders where he highlighted four Republican proposals that he plans to include. Those proposals mentioned by Obama are sending investigators disguised as patients to uncover fraud and waste, expanding medical malpractice reform pilot programs, increasing payments to Medicaid providers and expanding the use of health savings accounts. Now, the president didn't do everything Republicans wanted him to do. The GOP actually wanted Obama to just scrap all existing health care legislation and start from scratch. That's not going to happen. But what remains to be seen is whether simply including these four GOP proposals will actually help the president win any Republican votes on Capitol Hill. It also remains to be seen whether Democrats will take the president's suggestions and include these GOP proposals in the existing legislation. What this could do, though, is give Obama and the Democrats a bit of political cover. They can now say to the American public that the White House has been willing to compromise, and if GOP lawmakers aren't willing to join them in passing health care reform, then they'll have to go it alone. Julie Pace, The Associated Press, The White House.